Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're opening one of the newest Pokemon products, the Towering Splash GX Box. Not opening just one, but two of these humongous ones. They're not huge, but the Pokemon in it is huge. Whalmer, Magikarp, and Whale, not Whalmer, Whale Lord GX Tag Team. One of the newest concepts in the Pokemon TCG and man, it's been a while. It has been a while since I have recorded a video for you guys, so I apologize for the long wait. And thank you guys for being so patient. And um, yeah, I have a lot of footage from Japan that I want to share with you guys, so stay tuned for that. I wanted to post a lot earlier than this, but um, during my trip in Japan, I got pretty sick and um, it just kind of slowed things down a bit. I think it was food poisoning, I'm not entirely sure what it was so I'm much better now and um, I, I really just concentrated on getting as many interesting footage for you guys and uh, yeah hopefully hopefully you guys enjoy the upcoming Japan vlogs but we have our very first tag team GX here Magikarp Whale or GX super super interesting card um, really straightforward hefty HP interesting attack Honestly, I feel like it's just going to be used as like a stall deck, so it's just a little fun fun thing right now. But it does come with some pretty sweet things. The Jumbo promo, which I always enjoy looking at. And of course it comes with four packs. I'm going to go ahead and put the promo here. And why, don't, why don't we just go ahead and open the second box so we can do like a little comparison. But it does come with some decent packs. Um, of course, it comes with a mandatory random X and Y pack, Steam Siege. Um, honestly, I I don't like playing favorites, but I am not a humongous fan of Steam Siege. Um, there's really nothing in the set that you know that I really really like. Um, in terms of you know random X Y packs that the Pokemon Company sticks in these products that I actually enjoy having. Include evolutions because um always a good time pulling Charizards and evolution has a ton of Charizards and obviously you really want the hollow Charizard or the reverse hollow Charizard but it also has full art mega Charizard EX which is pretty dupe so a lot of Charizards in evolutions and another EX not EX XY pack that I really enjoy opening don't mind opening is um. Roaring Skies. Once in a while, they'll throw in a Roaring Skies. So, if it's Roaring Skies or um, Evolutions, I don't mind it too much. But when they start throwing like Steam Siege, it really, I don't know, makes me scratch my head a little bit. Alright, so we got the two boxes. We have Steam Siege, uh, Celestial Storm, which is pretty good. Sometimes they throw in like Crimson Invasion, which a lot of people don't like the set very much because it just doesn't get a lot of hits. But it has two Lost Thunders, which is pretty awesome. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it in this way. We're gonna go Steam Siege, Celestial Storm, and we're gonna wrap up the packs with Lost Thunder. Cause there's a ton of cards that we have not pulled from Lost Thunder yet, so definitely, definitely don't mind me some Lost Thunder. All right, I'm gonna give away this code card to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you get some pretty decent pulls. I personally, um. I have enough Steam Siege codes, but if you guys are playing Expanded, Steam Siege has a lot of really good Expanded cards. So, for those of you, ooh, Special Charge is a good one, Reverse Drift Loon, and a Clawitzer. Alright, now that we got the Steam Siege out of the way, let's go for Celestial Storm. I'm still missing a ton of cards from Celestial Storm as well. This was, uh, when the set came out, it was when I started getting really busy. So here's another code for y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys pull a Rayquaza GX or something online. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, when Celestial Storm came out, that's when I got really busy with school. And I didn't get to open nearly as as much. Um, Celestial Storm and Lost Thunder. I mean, man, these two sets were really cool. Reverse Lumis and Claydol. Like, especially Celestial Storm, it was like a crap ton of Hoenn Pokemon. And it was like a set that I was super looking forward to opening, but I just got really busy and, you know, 
it is what it is. On to the third pack. All right, my hands are feeling a little bit slippery. So the cards aren't flipping as easily as before. So I apologize if I start dropping cards. Alolan Doug Trio. Ooh, Professor Elm's Lecture. That's a good one to get. Reverse Hollow Combe. And a Heatran. Hollow Rare. Don't think I've seen that before. So not a bad pull there. Last pack from one of the Tag Team GX boxes. Hopefully it can come with at least one hit. Hopefully. Uh, let's take the energy out of there. All right, here we go. We have a Jigglypuff. Lolan Meowth. Kupchoo. Tangela. And I've been playing a lot. Oh my god, this is my favorite Vulpix art. I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go lately. And, um... Especially during the Christmas. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Electrovire. And a Gramble! Alright, that's a pretty good pack to get. Gramble is definitely playable, so that was not a complete bust, but it wasn't. Definitely could have been better. Right, hopefully, this second box here redeems the first one. Another card for you, amazing people. Thank you so much for watching. Three, I keep. Almost forgetting the correct card trick. All right, we have a Nidoran. Nidoran, yes. Fungus, Mankey, Kalink, Mantine, and Halucha. Tangrowth, another special charge. Okay, Reverse Hollow, Rare El Model, and a Volcarona for the rare. All right, Celestial Storm. Here we go. Another very interesting pack to open. Still missing a ton of cards. Hopefully we can get something sweet from here. Um, of course, everyone's trying to get that Rainbow Rayquaza. I personally feel like the the Rainbow Energy Secret Rare looks super cool as well. Life Herb, Sky Pillar, Torkoal, Reverse Hollow, Cacnea, and a Metacham. Regular Rare. All right, last two packs, Lost Thunder. Hopefully, hopefully this can redeem it. I am hoping. Oh my god, that's not a good sign. Oh yeah, almost forgot to give away the code to you guys. Here you go, Lost Underpack. Hopefully you guys get some cool stuff, some Alola Ninetales. Did I do the card trick already? I don't know, we'll figure it out. We have a Spinarak, Ninkeda, Eevee, Hip Hop Up, Pikapek, Bayleaf, Dedene, Adventure Bag, Reverse Hollow Rare Unknown, that's not too shabby. Oh my god. Same card, regular rare and reverse rare form. That's always interesting to get, I suppose. All right, last pack. Oh my goodness. Hopefully we get something. I mean, otherwise this product is just pretty harsh. Pretty harsh to get, I gotta admit. All right, we have a Larvitar. Pachirisu, Hopip, Carbink, Blitzel. The Dene again. Oh, we have a little something there. Adventure Bag, Skip Loom, Heat Factory, Prism Star. Okay, and a Ho-O. -Oh. Regular rare. All right, at least we got a Prism Star from these two products. But I got to say, the pulls were a little bit harsh. But at least the packs were, um, they were from good sets. So at least we have that. So hopefully, hopefully these two boxes were only the f one of the few that didn't have good pulls. And hopefully that means the boxes that are still out there have good pulls so hopefully you guys pick these up and get some pretty sweet pulls and that is it for today's opening i'm going to be leaving like little little segments of my japan vlog just just a little sneak peek for you guys you know so you guys know know what to look forward to and uh, i'll be posting more of the jap japan vlogs tomorrow and so stay tuned for that we have some pretty cool stuff we opened some Lost Thunder Packs at a Pokemon Cafe in Osaka and I also visited some Pokemon centers in Japan so it was a good time. I'm really really looking forward to sharing it with you guys and until next time guys, take it easy.